for the DEP here, the building behind you, and today we have a rather momentous announcement to make, which the governor's going to make, and all I'm going to say, and all I need to say, based on his past performance, is please welcome the governor of the great state of almost heaven, Jim Justice. They didn't mic you up. Okay, I just got out of the car, and I just told, you know, my people over there, I said, man, this day is really getting to be a strange kind of day. You know, right off the get-go, I went through Hardee's and spilled stuff on my shirt, then coming down through here, let me tell you this, you know, under the leadership of Austin Caperton, and what the DEP is doing right here, and with the great partnership with EPA, and all the things that are happening in this incredible state, we have a mo momentous announcement today, and we have incredible grants that our EPA partner is going to talk about. But let me just say just this. Look around. Just look around. Look around at a state that many, many that are on the outside would have thought in the years past that we were dingy and dusty, backward, 50th in everything coming or going, when really and truly we pride ourselves with taking care of our environment and taking care of our waters and the pristine air that we have and the unbelievable beautifulness of our waters is truly right here in this state. Now, just think about this. I've got to read to you one thing. I don't read many things, but I want to read this. I want to read that the entire state of West Virginia is now meeting all of the United States Environmental Protection Agency's health-based national ambient air quality standards for the first time since EPA made their initial non-attainment designations under the 1970 Clean Air Act in 1978. It's amazing. It's amazing what's going on right here. And we have a couple of phenomenal grants that are just going to make things better and better and better in West Virginia. So Austin, our partners, all of you, thank you, because this is an incredible day in West Virginia. Look at us. Look at how we show off in everything. It can't be better in my book. So please, Austin, you carry on. Thank you very much, Governor. I think we ought to give the state of West Virginia a big hand. <laughs> Laura Crowder is our air director, Governor. She's standing back here in the white shirt. She ordered up today's air. Kathy Emery is our water director back there. She's the one that makes all the water clean in the state. Um, I'd like to introduce now Cosmo Servideo. He is one of 10. There are 10 EPA region, regions in the country, and Cosmo is the Region 3 Administrator. I believe there are six states. There are six states plus D.C. in his region, and uh, he has done a masterful job of working with us, aided by his deputy, Jen Fields, who's standing right over there. He would be nothing out without Jen, and he would be the first to admit it. Cosmo Servideo, Region 3 Administrator, U.S. EPA. Thank you, Austin, uh, and thank you, Governor. Um, I can't thank you both enough for your uh, leadership. Uh, what, what an incredible announcement, but it always um, gives me an opportunity to always thank the great state of West Virginia because one of the greatest things uh, that's happened to me in my life is I married a girl from Fairmont, West Virginia. So I'm always proud to say that and spent many summers here in West Virginia with my family. But good morning to all of you. Um, again, um, what, what truly a um, special and noteworthy occasion uh, for us here 
the announcement that uh, the governor made, um, you know, our approval of West Virginia's request to redesignate the Marshall County area to attainment for the 2010 uh, NACs under the Clean Air Act had such a significant milestone for West Virginia. It, 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 it really is, is the, the uh, one state in Region 3, in the Mid-Atlantic region, that for the first time since 1978, that West Virginia has attained all air quality standards for harmful air pollutants. I mean, that is just incredible, just incredible. Laura Crowder, the entire air program team, I mean, the great work that all of you are doing, because it's about collaboration. It's about partnership. And that's what the Trump EPA represents. It's, it's collaborating and working with our states. And it's something that uh, Administrator Wheeler highlights to all the regional administrators, uh, are working with our states to improve the health and the uh, environment. And that, that is something that is, um, uh, again, speaks to what we've just announced. And also today, um, EPA, we're here to announce a $24 million Clean Water State Revolving Fund grant to West Virginia. Uh, this grant, along with the five million in state matching funds, further capitalizes on West Virginia's Clean Water State Revolving Fund program that provides low interest loans for the construction of wastewater treatment facilities, stormwater and estuary projects and other water quality activities. Uh, additionally, uh, EPA, uh, yesterday we announced another $11 million award to West Virginia Department of Health and human resources for drinking water improvement projects throughout the state. Uh, this grant, along with $3 million in state matching funds, further capitalizes on West Virginia's Drinking Water State Revolving Fund uh, program that provides low interest loans to communities for drinking water projects. Again, it's, it's really to underscore uh, President Trump's um, priority of providing all Americans with clean and safe water. The President signed an executive order just last week on modernizing America's water resource management and water infrastructure. The executive order is a bold action that promotes effective and efficient water resource management by reducing um, policy duplication, calls for a national water strategy to ensure the reliability of our water supplies, water quality, water systems, and water forecasting, and prioritizes the availability of clean, safe, and uh, partnership that is effective that is working. I mean, what, what a great announcement today, and congratulations, Governor. In quick closing, two things. First of all, um, when I came to the agency, I started observing what was going on in the agency, and we created a vision, and we have the mission, and our core values in our agency. And Governor, I don't think anybody exhibits these core values any more than you. Professionalism, integrity, education, knowledge, expertise, credibility, and public service. And I wanted to present to you this framed copy of our mission so maybe you can get all the other state agencies to be as great as our agency. Virtually all of my senior staff is out there. This is Lynn over here. Come up here, Lynn, please. I, I got her out here because 80% of people's contact with the DEP is this lady right here. Come up. I'll stay outside the ropes. Stay over here right there. 80%. She answers the phone. Okay. <laughs> she answers the phone. She greets everybody. I came to the agency the first time and spoke to her. And the next day I called from my car and she said, oh, hi, Secretary Caperton. She recognized my voice instantly. She is the ultimate professional. She demonstrates our core values. And guess what? I got the opportunity to capture the governor. And he signed this and says, thanks for being a super, thanks for being a superstar. All my best, Governor Justice. And I just signed at Austin with a big heart. Well, thank you. It's for you. Thank you, Lynn. You're very welcome. You want to say it? Absolutely. Okay. And she loves her governor, by the way. <laughs> uh, well, that is, that concludes our program for the day. Uh, I want to thank my senior staff. Our DEP is cooking with gas because of our senior staff and most of them are here today governor and uh we really appreciate you coming over here and one more time for him <laughs> god bless him yeah, I love it. This